And welcome to San Francisco Bay Calendar. I'm Yeshua Yeri. And I'm Maisa Jacobs. And we'd like to welcome an awesome guest to our show. He's performed for five presidents. Some have compared him to Bach and Beethoven. He's our Bay Area's own, none other than Ricardo Scales. And Ricardo, welcome to San Francisco Bay Calendar. Glad to be here. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Now, Ricardo Scales is a well-known Bay Area artist. He's also worked with and performed for notables such as Billy Joel, mm. Liza Minnelli, as well as five different presidents, including Bill Clinton. Elaborate a little bit on how it is performing for a president of the United States. Well, it's, um, it's no different than playing all the time, because okay. really they're just people. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, the most um, intricate part is just the preparation of the Secret Service and all the scrutiny of who you are. And a fun incident, we was at some well-known uh, doctor's home, and uh, the uh, I want to say militia, but the, uh, the um, not police, but the Army and the uh, National Guard was all in the trees, you know, and the CIA, CIA was running all over the place and Secret Service and all this stuff like that. And my chauffeur and my friend, they just opened the front door of the house and they just walked right in. Now, everybody was walking through the back door, but they forgot to protect the front door. Mm -hmm. So when <laughs> President Clinton was speaking, uh, you know, you have to wear a little badge, you know. That means you've been cleared, you know. Okay. They were standing like you guys right next to him. And he was talking and they were going, mm-hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And we were like, everybody fell out laughing because they walked right past the Secret Service, right past all these. He's just another person. And uh, I try to play the same for if it was just some hobo on the street or the President of the United States. Wonderful. Yeah. So you're going to get a stellar show regardless of where you see this fine artist. Exactly right. So Ricardo, tell us about how you overcame severed fingers and they thought you would never be able to play again. Well, um, determination. And I also believe it's part of destiny. Mm -hmm. I believe in God and I believe in spiritual um, awareness and I think that it's what um, being an Afro-American male um, that our younger generation, young men, need to become more in tuned. Uh, we have too many murders, we have too many killings, mm -hmm. uh, we have too many mistreatment of our women yes. by our men. Yes. And I think it's because our men are not spiritual anymore, I think. And, and so I overcame that through prayer. I never went to therapy in the hospital because they were talking in a defeatist manner because they didn't believe, I mean, they can't push God. So it's right. like, so it's like, we must live. No, I went and I prayed and I cried and it took years. I mean, it literally took years to rebuild my hand but I was determined I was going to play again. And because of that, sometimes people hear the style that's like Liberace or something on some of the music. It is because of the injury to my hand that I did that. You know, I started doing arpeggios as exercises. Wow. And those arpeggios are now very a intricate part of my style. But it's not because I wanted to, wanted to play them, it was I had to play them because I needed to exercise the tendons and the nerves and all of that yeah, stuff. So right. what I like to be as Ricardo Scales is be a icon, um, a brother that struggled. I lived in Hunters Point for a while. My parents moved into Lakeview. Um, and my mother, who's going through a terminal illness right now, but she would teach piano mm -hmm. to children in the ghettos. Mm -hmm. So they would have awareness and took them to Opera House, San Francisco War Memorial Opera House, on stage where black kids didn't go and made them put on gowns and come there in limousines and be on television. So you give an awareness of other things other than just the struggle of our oppression. And we can only be oppressed if we allow ourselves to be oppressed. And once we remove the oppression from our minds, 
then we're no longer oppressed. Because the Bible says, so a man thinketh, so is he. When you become a gangster because you think a gangster, when you become a millionaire, you think a millionaire. When you become successful because you think success, Career. we have a record label, we're signing people to our record label. Doesn't matter. We give people a chance. We believe that you should. Everybody should have a chance. Wonderful. And that's what we believe. Powerful message. Powerful words being dropped here. Knowledge being dropped by Ricardo Scales. You're on your tenth CD, and I was Correct. unaware of this. What messages can we bring from your tenth CD? And what's the title? It's called Once Again. And why did I call it Once Again? It is because my grandmother who's passed on. Wisdom constant dripping of water on a rock will wear a hole through it. That's an old southern slave saying. Because if you constantly repeat something over and over yes. and over again, it will eventually take hold and become successful. So that's why it says, here we go again, once again, you know? Information on yes. how you can purchase your new CD. You can purchase my new CD at any of the local retail stores. Okay. You can uh, get it on Amazon.com or any of the retail.coms. Ricardo, if someone yeah. would like to see you perform, where can they go? They can go to the top of the mark on Tuesday from 7 to 11.30. So that's San Francisco and Knob Hill? S San Francisco and Knob Hill. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want all the sisters and brothers and everybody to come because chocolate is up there. So I want some more chocolate in the house. You know? In the house. <laughs> and um, Scott Howard's, which is in the financial district in North Beach, right there on uh, 500 Jackson Street and uh, Montgomery. And that's also San Francisco. In San Francisco. For more on Ricardo Scale, San Francisco's most versatile shining star, Log on to www.sfbaycalendar.org for more on what's going on.